Anne, you look angry this morning. I am very angry. Do you know about the sexual harassment claims and other vile claims that we taxpayers are paying? No. I think I saw something online this morning, but I skipped it. How bad is it? You and me and everybody else has no idea, but over the last 20 years the Office of Compliance, the office that handles harassment complaints, has paid over $17 million to victims. Are you saying that we, the people, paid that money? Yes, us, the taxpayers, that's what's got me pissed this morning, these jokers who can't get anything done, are getting a free ride. Don't tell me they are trying to cut our social security and Medicare to pay for their juvenile behavior. I wouldn't call it juvenile behavior, it's a real firing offense, how come the public has not heard about this office of compliance? I've been around longer than all of you, so I know about the OOC, there's a special committee of congressmen that approves each request. Where does the money come from? The Treasury has set up a special fund to make the payoffs. The fund was set up by the Congressional Accountability Act, the 1995 law that created the Office of Compliance. Which basically means the taxpayers are paying the bills. There must be someone who is responsible for settling the claim. There is. A payment must be approved by the Chairman, and the ranking member of the House Administration Committee. I bet nobody knows how many claims were sexual or discrimination or whatever else goes on. I would not take that bet, but from what I've seen lately, there are a lot of women who are ready to come forward and tell their stories. A bill has just been released by a California congresswoman to reform the OOC. You can bet that will never happen. And you can bet that Donald knows nothing about the OOC. I hate to say this, but for once I agree with all of you. I think it's time to start a protest campaign to close the OOC not reform it, fire the guilty, make them pay their own claims.